In this webcast, I want to give you a brief introduction into the analysis of small RNA sequencing data. When sequencing small RNAs, you always sequence into the adapter sequence because the reads are always longer than the small RNAs themselves. So usually before mapping those reads, you have to remove the adapter sequence. In this webcast, I'm going to show you the genomatics approach where the mapper can align reads that still have the linker attached. So you can take the reads as they come from the sequencer, map them to the small RNA library, and directly get the mapping results. So let's have a look at the genomatics mining station so I can show you how we map the reads. We first open the small RNA sequencing project, and here I've imported several read files. We obtained them from Illumina um, within the IDEA challenge, and there are different breast cancer cell lines, and all the reads um, have length 50, as you can see here. So if we click on any cell line, we see that all the reads have length 50, and we get some statistics about the reads. Now, if we want to map these files, we, click, we simply click on Analyze Data. We say we want to use the Genomatics Mapper, and we can say we want to map all the files, so we select all of them. Then the important thing is to select the small RNA mapping library, and then you can pretty much start the mapping. Right now I don't want to run the mapping because it takes a little while, but show you the mapping results um, I've obtained with prior mappings. So you can click on any of these mapping results, and that will give you the number of hits that you have. For small RNAs you have a lot of multiple hits um, because a lot of small RNAs are very similar, and in the genome you often even have multiple copies of small RNAs. You get unique hits and you get some small RNAs that you can't map. Then you get a distribution of what kind of small RNA you found. Here, most of them were microRNAs and some of them were pi RNAs. And you get that for the unique and the multiple hits. You also get a distribution of the scores that you've obtained. For example, how many reads did you map um, without any alignment error? And you can have a look at this for the different cell lines. You can also generate a report that will give you a PDF file that will contain all the graphics and the statistics um, about your mapping. The last thing I wanted to show you is how you can analyze small RNAs in the genomatics pathway system. The first thing we can do is generate a network from the 15 small RNAs I've imported. And that will show us them in a network view where an interaction between two microRNAs uh, will give us all the publications that we have on the interaction between these two microRNAs. We can also extend the network to add additional genes or microRNAs that are known to um, be related to the selected microRNA. For example, we can look at connections between MIR-146 and interleukin-6. So we click on this interaction and then we get PubMed publications that cover this interaction. So we can click on any of those, and that will, for example, tell us that MIR-146A inhibits interleukin-6. So we can browse this network and get, interact get information on the interactions or on the genes um, and the microRNAs themselves. I hope you found this introduction helpful. For more information, please go to genomatics.com or contact our support.